How to change resolution in VLC media player. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change resolution of any video in VLC media player. So let's get started. First of all, open any video and then what you got to do is simply click on tools over here. Click on preferences. Once you do so, you'll be able to see a new window pop up in front of you. So over here at the bottom left, you'll be able to see show settings. And here you'll be able to see simple. So what you got to do is toggle this all on. And then you'll be able to see a couple of options over here. Now, what you got to do is on the left side, you'll be able to see a list. So you're going to click on input slash codex. And over here, you'll be able to see preferred video resolution. If it's not set already, you're going to click on best available or you're going to click on full HD. So you can select any of these. And once done, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and you have to find the option that says file caching. So right now it's 1000 so whichever value it has you gotta double that value if it has 500 you gotta make it 1000 if it is 1000 so you gotta make it 2000 so you gotta simply double the value after that over here at the left side come again under input and codex you gotta click on video codex so double click on it and you'll be able to see another list pop up so you gotta click on ffmpeg once you do so, you'll be able to see an option of threads. So it is zero right now. So you're going to make it a two. Simply type down two. Once done, you're going to head over at the left side again. And then you're going to scroll down till you find the option of video. Over here, you're going to click on output models. And here, you'll be able to see video output module. So you're going to make sure it's on automatic. If it's on any of the other from the list, you're going to click on automatic. Once done, click on save. And then you're going to head over to tools again, click on preferences once again, and then you're going to head over to input and codex. So over here, you'll be able to see an option that says hardware accelerated coding. So it's automatic right now. You're going to simply disable it. And if it is disabled first, so you're going to click on automatic. And then you'll be able to see skip H264 in loop deblocking filter. You'll be able to see it's none. So you're going to click on all. Once done, you're going to click on save and then you're going to simply restart your VLC or your computer. Once you do so, when you play any video, you'll be able to see that the resolution has been changed. So that's it for today's video. If you found this guide helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful tutorials. I'll see you in the next video.